Have you ever experienced a gripping thriller that left you questioning the boundaries of truth and conspiracy? The 1974 movie The Parallax View has certainly made its mark in the film industry, standing as an enduring symbol of suspense and intrigue. But when was the first time you watched this movie? This politically charged thriller, directed by Alan J. Pakula, delves into the sinister world of political assassination and conspiracy. Starring Warren Beatty, the film masterfully weaves a tale of a journalist who becomes entangled in a shadowy organization known as the Parallax Corporation, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats. But what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, what enduring qualities do you think make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry? Let's explore some random facts about the film that might shed some light on this enduring mystery. Did you know that the film's cinematography by Gordon Willis is often praised for its stark and atmospheric visuals? It's no wonder that the parallax view continues to captivate audiences with its timeless storytelling and enduring impact. Share your thoughts and memories, and let's unravel the enigma that is the Parallax View. The Parallax View, a 1974 film, is part of a notable cycle of 1970s conspiracy movies. This cycle included other films like Executive Action, Clute, Chinatown, The Conversation, Three Days of the Condor, and All the President's Men. The movie's dark and conspiratorial tone resonated with the era's themes. It was a time when conspiracy and paranoia gripped the public's imagination. Directed by Alan J. Pakula, the film contributed to this era's fascination with hidden plots and shadowy organizations. It's a part of a cinematic movement that explored the depths of political and social intrigue during the 1970s. The opening sequence of the 1974 film The Parallax View offers a glimpse into the recurring theme of different perspectives. A parallax, which refers to the difference in perspective when seen from different viewpoints, plays a pivotal role in the movie. This is evident right from the start when the assassination sequence unfolds. At first, it seems like the assassin falls off the roof, but in the subsequent shot, a long-distance view of the Space Needle reveals a different truth, as the deck extends beyond the domed roof. This clever use of parallax sets the stage for the intrigue and mystery that permeates the film. Directed by Alan J. Pakula, the movie is part of a notable cycle of 1970s conspiracy films, resonating with the era's themes of conspiracy and paranoia that gripped the public's imagination. The parallax view contributes to this era's fascination with hidden plots and shadowy organizations delving into the depths of political and social intrigue during the 1970s. Notably, during production, Warren Beatty directed a few scenes in the movie, although he didn't receive official credit for his directorial contributions. The film's thematic depth and the use of parallax as a storytelling device make it a compelling piece of cinema that remains relevant even today. The 1974 movie The Parallax View is part of a trilogy of thrillers directed by Alan J. Pakula, which includes Clute and All the President's Men. Unlike the other two films in the trilogy, The Parallax View was not released by Warner Bros. Pictures and did not receive any Academy Award nominations or wins. The film, as described by director Alan J. Pakula, is an American myth based on real events, fantasies, and fears. It delves into a different kind of filmmaking and offers a unique perspective on the era it represents. Notably, the parallax view stands out in its own right within the trilogy, and its portrayal of conspiracy and paranoia in the 1970s contributes to the era's fascination with hidden plots and shadowy organizations. It's a compelling piece of cinema that continues to intrigue audiences to this day. Prior to a film writer's strike, screenwriter David Giler was hired to do rewrites. Director Alan J. Pakula spent a large amount of time during the production shoot being involved with the film's rewrites. This last-minute scripting challenge was a crucial aspect of the 1974 movie The Parallax View. The urgency to complete the script was due to Star War and Beta's limited availability, which forced the film to start shooting even without a completed script. These behind-the-scenes struggles shed light on the film's production challenges and how it came together against the odds. The Parallax View, a 1974 film, is an adaptation of the 1970 novel of the same title by Lauren Singer. 
The story revolves around a reporter's perilous investigation into the Parallax Corporation, an obscure organization specializing in political assassinations. Starring Warren Beatty, this film marked his return to the big screen after a three-year hiatus, during which he had been actively involved in fundraising and campaigning for George McGovern's presidential bid, albeit unsuccessful. Notably, the movie is one of several collaborations between Warren Beatty and screenwriter Robert Town, joining the ranks of Bonnie and Clyde and Heaven Can Wait. These facts provide a solid foundation for understanding the origins, cast, and source material of the Parallax View, shedding light on the film's intriguing premise and Beatty's role, making it a compelling piece of cinema. The 1974 movie The Parallax View began its principal photography without a finished screenplay. This bold move to start filming without a complete script was driven by the limited availability of star Warren Beatty, who played the lead role of Joseph Frady. The production faced significant challenges in completing the script while shooting, but this risk ultimately paid off, leading to the creation of a compelling and mysterious cinematic piece that continues to intrigue audiences today. Selling scandals, when fame and greed collide in the lives of the Parallax View's cast member Hollywood stars. The 1974 movie The Parallax View might be known for its mysterious and conspiracy-laden plot, but the real drama often happened behind the scenes. Hollywood stars, including Warren Beatty, were no strangers to scandal and greed. As they navigated their careers, fame and fortune collided with their personal lives, often leading to sensational stories that grabbed headlines. In this article, we delve into the scandals that surrounded the cast members of The Parallax View and how the pursuit of fame and wealth shaped their Hollywood journeys. Warren Beatty, who played the lead role of Joseph Frady in the film, was not only a talented actor but also a charismatic figure in Hollywood. His involvement in fundraising and campaigning for George McGovern's presidential bid marked a departure from his on-screen persona, showcasing how stars could use their fame for political influence. The movie also marked one of several collaborations between Warren Beatty and screenwriter Robert Town, known for their work in films like Body and Clyde and Heaven Can Wait. The partnership between these two Hollywood heavyweights reflected the power dynamics and negotiations that often played out in Tinseltown. While the Parallax view itself delved into political intrigue and conspiracy, the lives of its cast members were not without their own share of scandals and controversies. This article explores the fascinating intersection of fame and greed in the Hollywood journeys of the stars of the Parallax view, shedding light on the complexities of their lives beyond the silver screen. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the enigmatic world of the 1974 movie The Parallax View, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the indelible impressions this cinematic masterpiece has left on you. This gripping political thriller, directed by Alan J. Pakula, has not only stood the test of time but also burrowed its way into the collective psyche of movie enthusiasts around the world. Perhaps you were mesmerized by Warren Beatty's portrayal of the intrepid journalist Joe Frady, or maybe the suspenseful plot kept you on the edge of your seat, leaving you with more questions than answers. The haunting visual style and ominous ambience of the Parallax Corporation may have lingered in your thoughts long after the credits rolled. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, musings, or revelations this film has sparked within you. Whether it's a specific scene, a character's complexity, or the enduring relevance of its themes, your perspective is a valuable piece of the larger cinematic mosaic. Your unique connection to the parallax view is a testament to the enduring power of cinema to provoke thought, inspire conversation, and stir emotions. Your thoughts are the missing piece of the puzzle that enriches the tapestry of this film's legacy. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic odyssey and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your participation enhances the beauty and depth of the film's legacy. Until next time, keep exploring the vast world of cinema and remember that your thoughts are always welcome here.